Lagos, and I'm your host for today, Adirile Ijelu. Finally, after the inauguration of the Ninth Assembly, President Mohamed Buhari finally sent the names of the ministerial list to the National Assembly for approval, 21, uh, 21 uh, ministerial list, which is to say that after the 21 ministerial list, another list is still going to come, but subject to the approval of the National Assembly, precisely the Senate, led by Senator Ahmed Lawa. But moving forward today, we'll start with the headlines from the Punch newspaper. Early morning fire raises Bayesa Broadcasting Corporation yesterday. Prostate cancer and its management. This can be found on the Punch newspaper this morning. I'm moving forward to the Vanguard newspaper. Maritime security. Stakeholders worry about outsourcing national security. New broadcasting code to tackle fake news, hate speech, menace. And also moving forward to the Nation newspaper. Period 22 withdraw words from Madonna Varsity. Rape accusation. TB Joshua Emmanuel TV releases video clip. Police, no church was attacked in Anambra. And the governor of Imo State, right on Oribimika Yoda, seek worker support in revenue generation. You could pick any of these, the punch, vaga, the nation to read more of this and get more details about what's happening in Nigeria. Let's go on a quick way and after the way is the What's Up Lagos segment. Don't go anywhere. <music> This is the What's Up Lagos segment where we tell you everything about entertainment, lifestyle, and event. Everything that is happening in Lagos. Present. And congratulations to Olamide Badu. You welcome his second baby on Monday, that is July 1st, with his baby mama, uh, uh, Ade Bukumi. The second baby, that is, she gave birth to that baby in Maryland, the United States of America. It's a bouncing baby, but this is coming after four years he had his first baby, Mazimunyan Ayodeji. And also, what is trending on social media right now is the Sophie Dance by Nera Mari. Lots of uh, lots of celebrities are saying something about this particular dance, saying it is good, it is bad. But dance queen, Nigerian dance queen, Kafra said something about the dance. She said on her Instagram page, this is no, my opinion. As a dancer, we should also speak for what is right. We should not encourage this for the sake of friends, especially when it's not even censored away from kids as an adult of it is offensive and it is rubbish. This is coming a few days after Naramali released the bank to say soapy. Meaning saying something that, that has happened while he was in prison concerning how he survived and a lot of things. But something has been happening concerning this. People have been saying negative things and positive about this dance. But presently, it's trending on all social media pages. And people have been embarking on the challenge on how to dance soapy. And also, he has started the soapy dance challenge for people who, are, who know how to dance this particular soapy dance very well to get some particular amount of money. But some of from celebrities are saying it is very, very bad. Especially this is social media age, which might not get very well to the younger age but the adult might say okay this is a dance that we need to cover out so that it can just like kill the zan kutre but she has finally her opinion and that's all we have for you on good morning lagos this morning you could subscribe to our youtube channel ibile tv lagos and also follow us on our social media pages at ibile tv lagos drop your comments and you can be part of the show i'm adele jello bye for now mm -hmm.